All right, welcome in to the Iowa Speedway, where tonight United Sim Racing Championship brings you the uh, broadcast from uh, not this past Thursday, but actually last Thursday <laughs> on the uh, 23rd this race has ran on. So we're here for the Psy 200. Uh, again, Richard Schwint sponsoring this race. Appreciate him doing that, as always, here at the Iowa Speedway. Richard has sponsored the last couple Iowa races as He's from Nebraska, so figured Middle East guy. He likes to sponsor this race. Nothing wrong with that. Starting lineup for tonight's race. Marcus Richardson starting on a pole with Derek Bordeaux in second. Kyle Putt's going to start third with Nick Caressel. Mr. Beach going to start fifth. Stuart Redman going to be in the sixth position. The 11, Nick Northrop going to start beside Carl Graves. Justin Gable, Jordan Malish going to have row number five, I believe this is. James Wilms, Pops. Aaron Davis in the 32 shell truck. Bobby Cheney going to go to pit road. He's going to uh, go to the back. Looks like Simpson. There's uh, Brantley's going to do the same. Schwint, the 84, Kevin O'Brien, and JTT, Jonathan Thomas. You see Shutt and also Steve Dixon. All these guys going to the back. A pretty big field. 22 cars going to start this race. Yeah, thanks, Marcus. That's It was my fault in the end. I just got snappy and pissed off. I was more mad at myself because I screwed up the 20 laps before that when I hit that wall. Yeah, I took it out on Thomas Keene. <laughs> I'm so mean, I know. Uh, yeah, wrong place, wrong time for him. Uh, I'm going to go 200 laps here. Around this, uh, what, nine tenths of a mile track, I believe it is. Again, this race ran not this past Thursday, but last Thursday. Uh, the Atlanta races ran this past Thursday. Uh, Marcus, we got a replay, by the way. Send it to me if you don't, and uh, hopefully somebody will. If not, we'll be, we won't be able to cover that one. We'll do that one likely tomorrow. Uh, if we do get it tomorrow or Monday, one of the two. Pace car going to pull off again. Marcus Richardson, Derek Bordeaux, the front row. Kyle Putz, Nick Caressel, row two. Mr. Beach, Stuart Redman, row three. Pace car is in. Let's go racing here at the Iowa Speedway on a Saturday night. Bordeaux going to lead lap one. Marcus puts Caruso beat your top five. Everybody trying to spread out, get themselves some room. Stuart Redmond, Beach. There's the 11 back here. Aaron Davis battling with James Wilms. That 12 4 position. Wilms. Oh, and Gable touching a little bit there. Gable getting a little loose there. Shuttle was getting in the back. Oh, nice save on his part. Up here, Stuart Redman battling north up in the 11. Not able to make a move. There's Caressa on the 13. Kyle puts there in the eight truck. Doing a uh, pretty good job so far to start this race. Aaron Davis and Wilms back here battling it out. Shell Pennzoil truck, nice looking paint scheme there. And the Cheetos 12. And here comes David Shutton at 24. The Sherwin Williams paint on the inside. And shotgun go by. Going to try two for one here on Aaron Davis. And not able to make the pass. He is complete the pass on Wilms for now. Wilms trying that outside line. 
And as you know, Iowa, multi-banked, multi-grooved racetrack. You can run anywhere on here, mostly. Back at the front, Marcus Richardson looking to put pressure on Bordeaux. Marcus, the point leader, entering this race. Again, a long race here, 200 laps around this Iowa Speedway. Last season, we uh, ran this uh, race here. It was 150 laps, if I remember correctly. And there were 12 cautions and I believe 30 lead changes because the setup we had, it was just great racing, but a lot of wrecks. This is the actual Iowa setup, though, for this build. And so far, knock on wood, clean and green. Eric Brantley back here. Carl Graves, Justin Gable. And I say that caution comes out. Bobby Chaney, Jordan Malish. I jinxed it. See what I did. Lap number eight, caution number one. Let's see, I think Jordan's going to clip that apron. Yes, he is. That apron here at Iowa is not the most friendliest person in the world. He's going to spin it around. Oh, he overcorrects, and Chaney's like, uh oh. Nowhere to go, bam. And caution number one on the speedway. Let's watch it again. Jordan on that part probably would wish you to spun it just to the inside of the track there. But nothing you can do about it now, unfortunately. And Chaney gonna be involved in a wreck. And that'll bring the caution out for the first time here at lap number nine of 200. Again, this week going to be kind of a light week for us uh, here for Races Only TV. The Sim Racing Authority boys taking a week off as they get ready to start their new seasons coming up uh, next Saturday. Uh, also, the, uh, of course, JTT series will begin season, uh, the fall season coming up Thursday. Actually, Marcus Richardson, your champion here with us, going to be uh, getting his uh, gear all together so he can get his trophy. Marcus winning by six points over Bobby Cheney in that championship. And uh, actually just was able to finally post an article on our website, usrconline.com. It's short, but it's there. As Caruso stays out, and there goes the cone, gets winded over. As everyone comes down pit road. See what everybody does here. Two tires for Bordeaux. He's going to pull away and take the lead off pit road. Russell stays out. Everybody else looks like four tires and fuel. Marcus could easily get that. Everybody else pulling out of their stall. And caution number one out. Caressel stays out the lead of lap, it looks like. And now Bordeaux going to take the lead back on those two tires. We'll see how that goes for him. And we will uh, move ahead to the restart. Which will come at lap number... 14, 13 laps complete here in Iowa. Bordo choosing that outside line and the two tires. Let's see how much they hold up here. Marcus with a good restart down to the bottom. Stuart Redman, a good run at 41 off of turn two. Bordeaux going to hold that lead. Look at everybody spread out two, three wide here off at of four. Ninety-three in the wall. Carl Graves with some issues. Meanwhile, that battle for third continued on. Kyle Putz gonna drive it to the bottom. 
Slide his way up there. Oh, baby, that's close. Oh. Contact with shut. Oh, and Putz gets tagged. And he's trying to save it, trying to save it. Now he doesn't. Northrop in it. Caressa Wilms in the wall. Simpson in it. Caution two. Let's see that again. It's going to all start up ahead here. As Putz gets tagged by Shut, he's trying to save it here. Finally, that Wendy's car goes around. He's going to just clip Northrop, who goes up into Cressu, who gets Wilms. So if you're anywhere from 11 through 13, you're covered net wreck. Putz going to be able to save it. And Cressu will get in the worst of it. Simpson, he's done. And just like that, caution number two on the track. Let's uh, go on board. With Russell, there's the spin almost happening. And then it finally does happen. Contact with Northup. Oh, boy. Russell gets roughed up. And caution number two on the track. Watch it at full speed here. Ouch. Caution number two on the speedway. Somebody's definitely got charcoal on the back straightaway. Holy moly. I should mention, if you're looking for the schedule for the B car for uh, the fall season, it is up now at usrconline.com. Uh, you can go there to the uh, schedule page. You'll see the new schedule there starting up at Daytona. Coming up here uh, next Thursday night, then we'll head off to Atlanta, to Phoenix, to Auto Club. Uh, Phoenix will be the final race before the holiday weekend for Thanksgiving. FYI. Bordeaux going to stay out. Redmond going to stay out. Aaron Davis going to stay out. Shut going to stay out. And Malish going to get the wave around. He's going to win this race off pit road. Everybody going four tires, it looks like here. Except for Gable, going to go with two. Brantley with two. And everybody else going to pull off pit road. And the one small, oh, that's Gressel. Oh, boy. All right. Well, hopefully they'll get that fixed and we'll fast forward ahead. We'll go back to racing lap number 23. Bordeaux, Redmond, Aaron Davis, David Shutt, and Eric Brantley are top five. Here in the side 200 at Iowa. Oh, four wide. Almost. Pete's going to push Gable past Brantley. That's four or fifth. Now David Chuck going to go to the inside of Stuart Redmond for second. Nope. Flappy Bird going to hold the position.
Gable up there in no man's land, not supposed to be up there. That'll lose some track position. Oh, back here, Marcus Richardson starting his climb back to the front. He's got Wilms and Pops here, split in the middle. Going to go by Pops. Wilms going to slide up. He's going to go to the inside there. Wilms going to fight him. What a mess back here. And you see Bordeaux, there's Redmond, there's Shutt. All this battling for second. So smoke off turn forward, didn't see who that came from. But Shutt gonna move to second, Aaron Davis gonna go for third. Davis gets hit by Beach. Beach puts him in gear and tells him to get going, boy. You see Bordeaux pulling away. And you see Marcus starting to make his moves outside Eric Brantley. And Marcus going to take that spot away right there in turn one and two. Move the two up. The point leader moving through the field. And there's your point leader, or uh, your point leader, race leader, Derek Bordeaux. David shot there in the second spot. And the battle for third continued on. Stuart Redmond. Aaron Davis, Mr. Beach, Justin Gable, all right here. Fourth, fifth, or uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Marcus Richardson there also, as we are 30 laps in already of 200. Jonathan Thomas uh, on scheduled pit stop for the five. Thomas going to be pretty happy after that Florida Gator win today. He was uh, talking to me during the uh, NIS race earlier, saying he was uh, afraid of how bad it was going to be, and it actually turned it down to 38-20 Florida Gator victory. So I'm sure he's pretty happy. Yeah, battle back here. Kyle Putz working his way back to the front. As he is underneath, James Wilms looking for a position here. Battle for ninth. And move the eight up. Speaking of on the move, look at Jordan Malish up to the 11th position after earlier spinning out. As Richard Schwinn on pit road, unscheduled pit stop for Superman. And we got trouble. Up ahead here, Stuart Redman. Flappy Bird is going around. Let's see. Uh oh. Looks all contact with Aaron Davis. Beach misses barely. Nice job by Beach to miss. Just a spin. Nothing uh, too rough. The caution comes out. Let's see if it was just a mistake on Aaron Davis's part or what here. We'll go on board to 32. Oh, he just gets in the back of him.
A tough break for Stewart, but fortunately not much damage, if any. And caution number three on the track here at lap number 34. What's up, Andy? Ha, ha, ha. So we should have pit stops here. As everybody comes to pit road. Well, Stuart Redmond stays out. O'Brien going to stay out. As everybody gets to their pit stall. Looks like everybody going four tires and fuel. Race off pit road. It's going to be Bordeaux, Aaron Davis. Shut, Marcus Richardson. Going to move up to the fifth position. Four tires and fuel for everyone. A reminder to all, make sure you set your clocks back tonight. At 2 o'clock, it would become 1 o'clock. All right, we'll fast forward to the restart. So James Wilms stays out with Redmond, and they're going to be the leaders here. And Bordeaux going to restart third. Bordeaux with a big jump on the start. And he's going to yank the lead into turn one on Wilms. And Redmond is going backwards. Oh, here we go. Beach got up into Davis, and Davis slides up into Redmond. And caution out again. Now, when I say Beach slid up, he didn't make contact with him, but there was contact between the other two. And I'm sure that's not going to make Stewart happy either. Let's watch that again. Oh, there was contact right there. Beach and Davis made contact, and Davis slides up into Redmond. Gable's getting a piece of it. Brantley, nice job to miss. And caution out again. The full speed. Let's go to a let's go to this angle here. You'll see it happen. Bam, there's that contact. Bam. And caution number four out. Not the best of starts. Kind of watching some things here. As we'll see more cars come to pit road. Cheney back in. Pops. And Beach going to come back in. Gable. Am 
Right side tires going on. Everybody getting four tires and fuel. Aaron Davis halfway out of his pit box. And you see Halleck getting the wave around. All right, there we go. So we will uh, fast forward ahead as we've been doing. Redmond going to come to pit road, get his damage fixed. Wilms going to pit, it looks like. And we'll move ahead. So Bordeaux will now lead. David Shutt in second. Marcus Richardson will be in third. Eric Brantley fourth. Kyle Butcher top five. It's lap number 44. We are completing here at the Iowa Speedway in the side 200. Marcus going to make a move to the bottom. That's usually not the fast way around, but he's going to complete it. Marcus up to the third spot. Battle back here. Mr. Beach, Stuart Redman, Jordan Malish. And Carl Graves almost hit Aaron Davis there. Redman going to slide up in front of each. Oh, here we go again with these three. And Redmond with a slide job on Jordan Malish. So, uh, Redmond taking no prisoners right now, and he's driving like he stole it. Meanwhile, battle for second. Here comes Marcus inside of shut. Hard to say this, but the 50 laps, and Marcus hadn't led yet. This is the way the strategy has gone so far for that Blue Deuce. He's pretty good here at Iowa. Puts looking inside of Brantley for the fifth position. Not able to do it yet. Of course, as you know, this past Thursday night, these trucks ran at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And uh, again, if I have the replay, then I will broadcast that for you this weekend, uh, tomorrow or Monday. And that will catch us back up before Tuesday night's truck series race. That's right, Tuesday night. In case um, you happen to forget, Tuesday the switch officially happens. The trucks will move to Tuesday night. We will run at the Lucas Oil Raceway, and B cars go to Thursday night starting this week. Oh, Wilms almost kissing the wall back there. His puts trying to get by Brantley still. Stuart Redman, Aaron Davis is coming up into the picture. All the races will be at 7 o'clock still. Uh, the only thing changing is the dates. As Mark is starting to catch that four of Bordeaux. This race right here is getting really good. Aaron Davis inside of Kyle Putz as Redman has gotten by both Brantley and Putz. As Nick Northrup on pit road, I believe he's grenaded an engine. I see smoke, and he's the only one on pit road, so I'm just kind of process of elimination here. So 
good race here. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, all the way through the ninth position here. Redmond, Brantley, Putz, Beach, Davis, Carl Graves in that 93. As we move up here, as Marcus gonna start making his move for the lead. Here we go. Not able to do it. Marcus is kind of laying back, letting Bordeaux, who's very notorious for wearing his tires out before the run. I'm sure that's what he's doing right now. Oh, Davis in the wall, Graves in the wall too. I hurt them a little bit. Brantley and Puts, they're going to try to catch Redmond. They see the lap truck of Jonathan Thomas going to lap down. Jonathan right now in the 18th position. As Marcus tries to put pressure on that four. Already 61 laps in the books. Check on some more battles back here. There's Gable, there's Beach. Back here, Jordan Malish and Wilms battling it out. As Wilms scrapes the wall up a little bit. Wilms is home track. From the Iowa area. Bobby Chaney back there in the 13th position with that struggling truck. And he had some heavy damage after contact with Malish. Beach and Gable up here battling. Ninth and 10th between the 10 and 22. Carl Graves, there's B or uh, Davis, and then here's Eric Brantley underneath the Kyle Putz. Putz gonna finally get around him. Aaron Davis to the inside now. Not totally clear yet. Meanwhile, new leader. Marcus Richardson to the front, the point leader. And Shutt going to try to get outside of Bordeaux. So it took him 66 laps to get to the front. But the Blue Deuce in the lead. David Shutt second in points in this race. Looking to hang right there with Marcus.
Richards went back on track in the blinking 55, and I mean blinking. And blinking. And blinking. Wait for it. Wait for it. And blinking. Stuart Redmond there in the fourth position. Kyle puts there at fifth, and this battle is, continues to rage on. Aaron Davis outside now of Eric Brantley. Oh, Brantley was sliding up into him. Carl Graves right there with Mr. Beach. Graves doing a good job. Being patient in that truck. After a rough start to this race, a nice little green flag run here. Justin Gable back here, Wilms. I uh, don't see Jordan Malish anymore. Oh, there's Malish. Malish, oh, having more issues. He's got some heavy damage that front side. He must have went around or something. Kevin O'Brien and Valvoline truck going to go all that down. Oh, now he's really in the wall. He's just getting out of everybody's way now. Oh, he spins it. No caution. Pop's going to move the inside and let the leaders go. As he always does in the alcoholic machine. Let's talk about next time we'll be on the air. Uh, again, we'll be likely tomorrow night. Uh, if not, it will be Monday. Um, we will uh, let you know here on our Facebook page and stuff. At, of course, First is Only TV. And uh, when we do, it will be the rebroadcast of the Atlanta race from Thursday night. And then uh, Tuesday night, we will be live. It will be the one, one at least time here in the next uh, few weeks that I will be live on the air. Uh, Lucas Oil Raceway. I'm not going to run that race. Uh, it's my first race back with racing with the guys will be Thursday. And the reason being is uh, I actually have an event Wednesday night I have to go be a part of. Um, and that's when I'm going to rerun the truck races uh, for the rest of the season uh, when we're racing. Um, and since Wednesday night's covered, I'm going to go ahead and do the race live. So Lucas Oil Raceway Tuesday night. The truck series presented by Outlaw Motorsports will be there for 200 laps. And we'll have that race live for you here for Races Only TV. And then we'll come back Thursday and run the start of the fall season for the JTC Series at Daytona. Battle on for second. As Marcus starts to pull away shut, trying to get to the inside of Bordeaux, not able to do so. Uh, that's a battle for position right here. Thompson, uh, Jordan, there's Kyle Putz, Stuart Redman. And in this battle here now, Aaron Davis and Mr. Beach for sixth. Schwinn pulls over. Classy moves that he always does. And Beach starting to pull away from the 32. And then his battle back here, Eric Brantley, Carl Graves in 93. Here's Justin Gable, James Wilms. And then the leader, Marcus Richardson. So 11 trucks on the lead lap. As we are at lap number 80 right now. 120 laps to go here at the Iowa Speedway in the side 200.
You see puts going by Malish, put him a lap down. You see Steve Dixon there. Redmond trying to chase down that eight. Beach looks like he's chasing down to 91. Or to 41, sorry. Peak number's throwing me off a little bit. Well, he chased him down to hurry. Here comes Beach to the inside, going to dive in there. Well, I guess when your truck falls off, it trucks, it falls off. These tires definitely taking a beating right now. Malice up in the wall. He's giving that 94 truck a whooping. There you see Derek Bordeaux. He's starting to fall back as David Shutt in that second position trying to catch the two. As we ride with Shutt. See how much you got to get out of that gas. These tires just falling off. They're shutting Bordeaux. And tell you what, he might be the fastest truck on a track, or at least one of them. Beach is flying. The Frenchman's angry. He passed by Redmond like he was parked, and now he's catching Kyle Putz. back here inside of Stuart Redmond. Davis going to make the pass. And here comes Redmond, a crossover. <laughs> what boat? Have a boat. As Beach goes by, puts. Move him up to fourth. As Redmond and Davis continue to battle it out for fifth. As Wilms goes a lap down. As we are nine laps away from halfway already here in the side 200. United Sim Racing Championship for races only TV here at the Iowa Speedway. Again, this race ran uh, a week ago Thursday on the 23rd. We hope to get the Atlanta race that was ran this past Thursday night for you this uh, either tomorrow or Monday night. As I heard contact somewhere, didn't see it though. As Jonathan puts it up in the wall to let the leaders go by. On green flag run here about what's almost 50 laps. We're about 25, 30 laps away from green flag pit stops. Get away from the pace car. 
There's Beach pulling away from Putz, who's pulled away from Redmond, who's slightly pulling away from Davis. And back here, these two battling it out. Blinkaholic and uh, Dixon. And then these three here, this is a good battle. Eric Brantley, Carl Graves, and uh, Justin Gable. I believe this would be seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Now, one thing I can go ahead and tell you guys in advance is this coming Saturday night's first race for the Indy cars, uh, the DW12 uh, open wheel of uh, death series. Uh, unfortunately for that series, I will not be able to cover that race live or do the race. I'm actually planning on racing with you guys, but I'm going to have to miss that race because um, I'm actually going to be at an award show Saturday night uh, for the station I work for. So <coughs> we'll have to get that race for you guys live on Sunday before the first race of the truck series. Excuse me. And look at this. Shut has gotten closer to Marcus. And that lead battle going to open up right now. Top two in points, battling it out for the lead. Going into this race, Marcus Richardson with a 29-point lead over David Shutt. He had 38 points over Jordan Malish in third. Richard Schwint, 40 back in fourth, and Nick Caressel entering this race, 47 back in fifth. So Marcus with a pretty handy lead. Now there will be drops in this series. I don't know how many yet. And the first one, I can't tell you when it will happen. The first drop will actually be put in after the Atlanta race. Uh, that'll be the first drop. So once uh, I complete that broadcast, the standing's already done, uh, but I haven't put the drop in yet because I want to leave the points alone until that point. So no pun intended. Oh, Malice getting close to shut. Dixon going to go another lap down. There you see Bordeaux in that third position doing a great job. And that's way back here to Mr. Beach in fourth. Redmond Davis. And this cluster truck back here still continues on. I haven't said that word in a long time. And look, the leader's right there behind him. They better get in gear. Oh, Brantley tagging the wall, going into one. Him and Gable contact. Gables, excuse me, young fella, I'm coming through. And we got a battle for the lead, boys. Look at this. And Stuart Redmond's on pit road. A 41 on pit road. Green flag pit stops. Lap 102. More tires, fuel, and he go. Redmond, the only one going to make an early green flag pit stop here. And you see Brantley there in the 86 in a... Looks like go a lap down here is the end of turn one. Graves going to get out of the way, so they're three wide now. This is dangerous. A 
as Mark is going to come up on Justin Gable now. So Brantley, the first one to lap down with seven cars now in the lead lap. Meanwhile, Schwentz still blinking. What else to do? You see those fresh tires from Stuart Redmond to see how this uh, works. Look at the run he gets through the corner. Wow. Oh, Graves in the wall. Brantley kind of didn't get him any room. No real battles on the track. Everybody's spread out. And you see Derek Bordeaux in the four. And he's got our Tyro Cam. As Brantley's in the wall, look out. see the fresh tires going to work. Stuart Redman going to try to unlap himself. I'm not sure if he's one or two, probably two laps down would be my guess here. I don't have telemetry in front of me, so I can't tell you. But Redman has gotten by shut. Going to come up on Marcus Richardson. And I doubt. Oh, oh how about slide jobs the leader? Oh, wow. That was not smart. Shut to the lead. Now, when you're on fresher tires, you would think you could have a little more patience and just work your way past the leader. I'm smart enough to think that. But unfortunately, Marcus gets a little bit of damage. I don't think it's bad from what I'm seeing. If they even touched, they might not have. But there goes Redmond, going to unlap himself. I don't see any damage, looks like, on the two. So definitely good news there. That could have been really bad. I mean, the bad news, though, David shot your leader. He gets a bonus point now. As we should have green flag pit stops coming up here any moment. And Brantley. There's Beach. He's in the fourth position. Pretty good distance away from the eight. There's the eight. Looking for Aaron Davis, sixth position. And then there's the leaders. David Shutt pulling away from Marcus just a little bit. Redmond pulling away on those fresher tires now. When these leaders get the fresh tires, Redmond's going to be out to lunch. Appreciate viewers watching us this evening. I see uh, Mr. Bordeaux is here. I believe that's who that you are, Dart21. Uh, Andy, of course. Andy Moore, Mr. Ha Ha Ha. I Day Night. That's a cool name. I'm a going commando too. Wow, really? Uh, Johnson7555. Uh, hope that's not a birthday or anything. Of course, Marcus and Richard watching us. Appreciate you guys watching us. Here on Foracers Only TV. Hit that follow button if you've never done that before. As you're watching the United Sim Racing Championship here on For Racers Only TV. Carl 
Oh, Graves in at 93. And uh, Richard, you still haven't fixed your internet. There's Mr. Beach. Hey, how about we used to do a Superman cam, but Superman's on the track. So we go to the blimp. Did you see the 22? Oh, nice. Uh, actually, I Day Night, this is a race that was ran two weeks ago. A league race, so I'm just rebroadcasting. I'm live on the microphone, but race is not. And you see Beach taking it in turn one there, doing a great job. Question going to be, who's going to be that first leader to commit to pit road as Marcus has caught back up to David Shutt here. And that battle for the lead continuing. Well, that's a trick. Theater of the mind. <laughs> that's the old trick in radio I've learned. Theater of the mind. You make people look like it's real. Or live, I should say. Now you see Pomp's got a lot of leaders going by. Oh, maybe. Pops, you got to break a little earlier, bud. And you see how tires have worked for Redmond. Look at him sliding by Davis. Going to go by Wilms. Those fresh tires working for him for right now. But eventually, oh, shuts in the wall. That'll make him pay for it. Oh, they almost touch. The move Marcus to the lead is Jordan Malish on pit road. As we come up, 75 laps to go next time behind the side 200. Again, shout out to Richard Swint for sponsoring this race. Uh, I will put this out there to you guys. There's a lot of money uh, sponsor-wise left over uh, from the uh, last season uh, from Richard Schwent, Darren Moyer, Caressel, even Doug McFarland. So uh, when it comes to the B-Series races, these upcoming races for the trucks, we're covered, so I uh, appreciate those guys sponsoring. I want to say thank you to everyone. I've actually been trying to plan everything out so everybody gets their fair share of races uh, for the money they've donated to this league and stuff. So, so to Richard, to Caressel, to Darren Moyer, Douglas McFarland, thank you guys very much. And then for our sponsors, obviously, Jonathan Thomas and the B-Car. And, of course, uh, Outlaw Motorsports in the Truck Series. And Gene Yates over in the Road Series, which, uh, as of tonight, officially is going to wrap up their season. Uh, Brett Pancari will be the champion. And I think we're at pit stop starting because Aaron Davis is pulling down. Wilms on the pit road. We'll follow Aaron Davis' stop as he comes in at 32. Aaron going to pit from the sixth position. We are... Almost 90 laps into a green flag run here. Right side tires going on at 32. And she's going to damage fix, looks like, or speeding on pit road. Something happened there. Oh, there he goes. No, it's trying to get a little bit of damage fixed. And he's going to pull away. David Schott doing a good job running with Marcus right there, even though he's got that damage now. See Schwent leaving pit road there on the bottom. Schwent multiple laps down. He's had some internet issues in case you can't tell. And who's going to be the first to pit road? It's going to be David Shutt. Here he comes. The 24 coming in.
Derek Bordeaux to pit road. Mr. Beach on pit road now. So green flag pit stops. Lap 132. They should be able to go to finish. No problem now unless cautions come out. And four tires fuel and shut pulls away. Oh, Beach misses pit stall. Look out, shut. <laughs> That's going to cost the 22 as Marcus Richardson comes to pit road. And he just bulldozed through some of his pit crew members. Right side tires for the leader. And you see Beach leaving pit road. He's going to lose some track position after that. Four tires fueled. Marcus pulls away. And you see Marcus with a real good entry and exit out of pit road. And he's going to have a pretty good sizable lead over David Shutt now. Derek Bordeaux's been on pit road. Kyle puts in right now. There he is, the Wendy's truck. And the first face palm of the night goes to Richard Schwitt. Four cautions so far in the evening. They all came in the first 40 laps. We have been green ever since. You see Carl Graves on pit road. We'll take you through the field now and let you know where everybody's running. Marcus Richardson will be the leader now as pit stops have cycled through. David Shutt running into second position. Derek Bordeaux, he is in third. All the way back to fourth is Eric Brantley. He's yet to pit and he's coming in now as Kevin O'Brien knocks the wall down yet again. Fifth position all the way back somewhere. Did I miss him? Looks got Brantley in fifth now. Oh, pops in the wall. I believe Kyle Putz will be the new fourth place truck once they cross the line here. I'm just going for everything to cycle through again. Nope, he is the fifth place truck. His fourth is Stuart Redmond. Those tires, I told you. Those fresh tires, he's able to get that track position. However, he's much slower than these guys now, and he's got damage to his right side also. So Redmond is fourth. Kyle puts in fifth. We'll keep track of that battle. Mr. Beach going to be in sixth. Should be Aaron Davis, I would say, seventh. But he is way back here a lap down. Justin Gable in the eighth position trying to catch Beach. There's Carl Graves in the ninth position. He's a lap down. And Eric Brantley will come out 10th, and he might be about to go two laps down here. I want to go back and watch the eight truck here. I'm thinking that Kyle's going to catch Redmond pretty quick. As we ride with the Wendy's number eight. I wish I had a triple right now. Sounds so good. Hey, by the way, if you haven't had a chance, I'll go ahead and endorse this for a second. Uh, pulled pork burger from Wendy's. Delicious. Get it. And look how quick Kyle's catching Redmond. That's my point about the tires. He pit it early, and Fortz, he's paying for it a little bit here. Oh. Sweet. I'm a sweet sauce guy when it comes to barbecue.
And you see that battle for fourth right there. It's done. Clear. Kyle puts pass Stuart Redman. There's your leader, Marcus Richardson. He has got a really big lead over David Shutt now. Yeah, that's a pretty good sandwich. We got to stop talking food. We're going to make sure we're uh, hungry. Don't want to do that. Then again, if I showed you guys what I'm making for dinner tomorrow, <laughs> y'all would love me. Y'all would probably be jealous, actually. Let me see if there's a way I could send it to myself. I have his email to me. I can actually pull it up. Give me a second. While I'm calling the race here. Go to my email. You're really like, wait a minute, Scallon a cook? I beg he is her. Well, you're not going to see a cooked version, but I'm going to show you an uncooked version. I just want you to picture this with noodles, hamburger, uh, and I mean uh, the uh, rigatoni noodles, noodles, spaghetti sauce, and mozzarella. As caution is out. I'll talk about dinner later, apparently. Uh, trouble in four. Uh, Justin Gable? Nip. Oh, Steve Dixon. Oh, him and Wilms playing patty cake with each other here. Let's see what happens. This is not going to make him happy. He's probably speaking words to Wilms in his language. Wilms slides right up into him. And that long run is over with caution out for the fifth time at the Iowa Speedway. That erases that deficit right there. And Marcus has, as we just have 54 laps to go. So this race clicked off laps just like that. A 100-lap green flag run is over with now. While they're going to pit, like I said, I'll read this off to you what it is. Uh, includes spaghetti sauce, rigatoni cooked, uh, ground beef, shredded mozzarella, uh, pepperoni slices. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'll show you right now. Slide this off my screen. That's what it looks like before it's in the crock pot. That's tomorrow for dinner, boys. Anyway, once you join me, feel free. Just think about that all melted together like a – think of a big CD, so to say. Yummy. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's three hours away. <laughs> what do you got to go to Des Moines? Or not Des Moines, but uh, Omaha? <laughs> All right, here we go. Leaders lead lap coming to pit road. So that Redmond strategy actually works out in a way because of the early pit stop. Crock-Pot pizza, exactly it. Yes, sir. Let's see who wins the race on pit road here. Oh, nice. Yep, I got all the ingredients here. I've never made it before. I've made, like, the usual, like, Buffalo chicken dips and stuff like that. I mean, you've seen some of the crockpot stuff she went, have made. Off pit road, Marcus going to win the race. Bordeaux going to be second. I'm sure uh, knowing shut, he's going to work on the damage. It is good eating? Okay. Is there anything else I should maybe add to it? I mean, I'm not an onions, peppers type of guy, so I'm thinking that generic looks good, but, I mean, is there anything else I should add to it? I should get sausage, too. Mm. Like a double meat. Anyways, all right, lap car is going to come to pit road now, and we will regroup back up. Aaron Davis, not sure who the wave around would be in that case. I think it should be Aaron Davis. Should have gotten a wave around there, so we'll have to see. We'll fast forward ahead to the restart. Here comes some wave arounds. Brantley going to get a wave around. Gable. That's the stuff I don't like, Rich. All right, we'll go back to racing here. 48 laps to go. Marcus Richardson, Derek Bordeaux, 
Kyle Putz, Mr. Beach, and David Shutt, your top five. Can Shutt work his way back up there? I wonder how bacon would go in there. What do you think? Anyways. Bordeaux going to get the lead off of two. He's in fast on a short run. Three wide. Here we go. Wow, Beach with a move. I didn't think he was clear. Oh, Beach isn't clear. Oh, my gosh. How did they not wreck? Oh. Well, that's Iowa racing at its finest. Meanwhile, up. Well, Porto still got the lead. Oh, Aaron Davis and Redmond almost. Oh, there they go. Redmond and Davis together again. And this must be the part my dad was talking about. Aaron not happy with Stewart. And there goes Aaron Davis. Unfortunate circumstances there where tempers have boiled over. Now, I will say this off the cuff um, that both Aaron and Stewart were talked to. And uh, as you'll see in the Atlanta race, both were not there in that race. They were both suspended for the next week. Uh, they will be back, obviously, this coming week. So, due to that deal right there. You know, mine good hard racing and people. You know, I don't mind people jabbering at each other as long as they keep it clean or whatever, but don't go do that because, I mean, look how many trucks are around them as they're beating on each other. It is what it is. And you saw the pit stops happen. Everybody but David Shutt stays, or uh, pits, and Kyle Putt stays out too. Marcus wins the race off pit road. And they have tires. So let's look at this situation here. Pretty much the top two stayed out. The rest of them pitted for tires. Let's see how the restart goes now. This is lap number 160, 40 to go. And there goes Bordeaux again. No oh, contact. Oh, more contact. Puts goes around. Thomas into him. Wow, the aggressiveness. You see the contact there between Bordeaux and Shutton. And yes, Shutton and Putz had contact early in the race, but this nowhere near intentional. You could see that Putz and Shutton just come together. I think Putz thought he could get to the bottom. And Thomas glues him. Pop's going to get some damage. Go on board with Kyle. This might be able to explain more when you see it. He goes down to block it, or at least protect his lane, I should say. Bam. Unfortunate for the eight. 
And that's caution number seven. And that gives Marcus Richardson the lead back. Just good hard racing there at the end of a race. We'll get caught pace car and see if anybody else comes to pit road. Shot going to be third in the end. Look who's second, Mr. Beach. Well, maybe not. They're going to give Shut second, it looks like, when the caution came out. And Stuart Redmond's on pit road in the 41. Yes, Marcus is here. He's down there. In case you're looking for him. We'll see if anybody comes to pit road. Later, Schwinnie. And the answer is... Yes, Marcus coming to pit road. And no one else, lead-wise. Interesting strategy out of the two. So Shutt's going to be the leader now. Beach will be in second. Bordeaux will be third. We'll have to see who else is on the lead lap once we get regrouped here. Puts coming to pit road to get that damage fix on the left door. And we'll fast forward ahead again. All right, here we go. Going to go back to racing. At lap 167, it'll be Shut leading, Beach in second, Bordeaux third, Gables in fourth. Swam's on the lead lap. He is not. Or is he? He might be. Oh, no, he wouldn't be on the inside, I don't think. At least five cars are in the lead lap, I know. Wilms might be on the lead lap, actually. Unfortunately, this race isn't live. I don't have telemetry. Oh, Beach and Bordeaux, the Frenchman hit. And Bordeaux going to go to second. Wilms and Richardson battle. Gable right there in the 10. And Beach is probably whatever you say, Pissed off in French. As Marcus moves up to third, out of three wide back here. James drives it deep, almost hits puts. Gable's on the apron. Here comes Redmond. Wait, they this is wild. Wait for Lucas Oil Raceway Tuesday night. Oh boy. David Shutt leading, looking to gain some points on Marcus here in the point standings. Like I mentioned, after the Atlanta race, there is a point drop in there officially now. I have not put the drop in there because I'm waiting to do the Atlanta broadcast before I do. Bordeaux going for the lead. Shot in that preferred groove. Bordeaux going to try to work that bottom on him. Slides up. Going to lead that lap.
How about that eight truck? Look at this. The eight truck back up to fourth. That's called never give up right there, boys. As Marcus diving in the bottom underneath, shot for second. And takes it. With less than 30 laps to go now. As Mark is going to look underneath Bordeaux, 25 to go. Well, I'm back here in the fifth position. Brantley now the sixth, Cable the seventh, Redmond eighth. All these cars, I believe, are on the lead lap, or trucks, I should say. As here's that battle for the lead. Marcus not able to clear him. Shot going to go back underneath Marcus. Great racing here at Iowa. If you uh, got eye racing, you want to be a part of this, you go to two websites. There's two for you. I don't mind promoting both leagues. USRCOnline.com, or you can go check out United Sim Racing Championship on iRacing, or you can go to SimRacingAuthority.com, too, because these guys run uh, mostly in that league also, and that's uh, also a great league to be a part of. So two great leagues. Obviously looking for great drivers to join racing like this. Bordeaux started on the pole. Marcus looking to pick up another victory. Which would be a sixth win of the season. That's right, six wins in 11 races potentially. Marcus would win this one. Twenty laps to go. Can Porto hold him off? Lamp truck gets out of the way. Marcus going to try to take advantage. Not able to. Oh, Kyle, whoa. I look over to read something and Bordeaux's drifting. I don't know if there was contact, but Shuck goes to the lead, puts the second. I'm going to back up there because I didn't see it. I look over and see Bordeaux's drifting. Oh, there was contact in the one. Marcus. Probably didn't mean to, obviously. That's why Marcus backs off. And Shuck takes advantage. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Andy, I think Austin Roberts is in here. So, uh, Austin, if you want to respond to Andy there. So, David shut back to the lead. Kyle puts a second. 
And a battle for third between Bordeaux and Marcus. Tell you what, though, the class act that Marcus is there in that situation. He gets in the back of Bordeaux and it backs off. That's just, I mean, that's cool. I should probably do that too, Austin. I never do. Dad and I have talked about it, but it's like, you know what? I'm not worried about attendance. If people sign up, hopefully they'll show up sometime. But maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. But Bordeaux going to go by puts for second. Here comes Marcus for third. 15 to go. Wow, nice run by Bordeaux. Not clear of them yet. Huh. Maybe I should do that. I know Pops and I have talked about it, but I've told him, man, I don't worry about attendance. People can't show up, they can't show up. But I'm just a nice guy. <laughs> Bordeaux clears shot. Now Marcus diving in there for second. Got him. Who is going to win out of these four? Will it be somebody else? Great racing here in the side 200. Now, obviously, this race, let's clarify this, is not named after Uncle Cy, which would be cool. Uh, the Cy part is actually something that Wilms always does. He always says Cy. So he figured we'd put a joke in there since it's home track. Schwint sponsored the race. Cy. The very damaged pop struck, the alcoholic special, as I call it. Going to go another lap down. And about hit shut, doing it. <laughs> Ten laps to go. And, of course, Sim Racing Authority, they got their DW12 Open Wheel of Death Series coming up here Saturday night. And then Sunday and Monday, they'll have their truck in Gen 6 Series returning. I believe they're looking for sponsors, by the way. Hit up, uh, let me get this right, David Shutt for the IndyCar Series. And then hit up Austin and Bobby for the other two series. They are looking for sponsors. As Marcus gets the wall. Everybody's driving hard. Oh, Jonathan, look out. Bordeaux pulling away, seven laps to go. Derek, looking for him in the points here is in the ninth position. He does have one win. And if I'm correct, that came at Road America. As caution is out. Uh-oh. This could really get good. Caution out for some reason. We have to find it. As Redmond hits the wall and then loses it. Down the back straightaway. Stewart been a part of some drama, unfortunately, tonight. And now Caution comes out. That's really going to make this interesting. Uh, Stewart's, or uh, Derek's win came at Watkins Glen, actually. He did finish uh, second at Road America Race, by the way. Well, that's going to change things. Who's going to pit? Who's not? What strategies people are going to do? Because right now, where are the leaders at? 
They just crossed the line. They are at six laps to go. We are looking at a green-white checkered here, boys. And wow, what a fake by Marcus. You see this? I'm just going to drive down this way if you don't mind me. <laughs> That's new. But everybody else, Bordeaux to pit road. Shut to pit road, puts to pit road. Wow, this really has got interesting. Race on pit road, one by shut. And let's see what situation we have now. Marcus Richardson will be the leader. James Wilms going to be second now. How about that? Eric Brantley going to be third now. Fourth will be David Shutt. The race then go back to green. Wow, I guess not. Wow, an unfortunate situation there as those guys pitted. Uh, Derek. <laughs> going drifting. So Marcus Richardson's going to win this race by staying out. Whew. Okay. That's a weird ending. Well, there's the prime reason for a while we've been saying this. Hi, racing. Green, white checkers, please. Thank you. Well, nonetheless, it is what it is. It's going to be a sixth win of the season. Marcus Richardson's going to win the side 200. Wilm's going to get second. Bordeaux's going drifting. Oh, he's going to try. Fail, fail fish. Try it again, Bordeaux. Let's see it. There you go. Uh-oh. Big fail. Final results, Mark is your winner. Wilms gets second, Brantley in third, Bordeaux fourth, puts fifth, Gable, Redmond, Shutt going to finish seventh. You're still wrecking. Uh, you know points count, guys. Um, let's see. Actually, Shutt finishes eighth. Carl Graves in ninth, Malish in tenth. O'Brien 11th, Pops in 12th, Richardson, or, uh, Richard Schwent 13th, Dixon 14th. Beach 15th, Davis 16th, Thomas 17th, Cheney in 18th, Northrop Caressel in Simpson. Your 21 finishers. Yeah, that was not a good uh, finish. Well, I do appreciate it, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the point standings in here real quick for uh, where we're at going into the Atlanta race, in case you didn't know. Richardson leads now by 40 over Shutt. Malish, 52 behind. Schwent, 56 behind. Caressel, Dixon, excuse me. Uh, Cheney, O'Brien, Bordeaux, and Wilms, your top 10. So, like I said, if I can get the Atlanta replay, I'll do that race either tomorrow or Monday. 
That's if I get the replay. If not, then we'll skip the Atlanta broadcast and we'll come back for uh, Lucas Oil Raceway coming up here on Tuesday. So uh, that is the plan uh, for that. So until then, guys, appreciate you guys watching. SimRacingAuthority.com. Check out their website, USRCOnline.com. Uh, two websites there for you to check out. And uh, we got a new season of racing coming up other than the trucks. They're going to continue on with their 29 or 30 race season. We are going to put Gateway back on the schedule, boys. Uh, 30 race schedule. And uh, we'll continue that and, of course, start up the B schedule on two, uh, Thursday and then SRA kicking off the weekend with their new season. So until then, have fun, guys. Thanks for watching.